And that's, that's actually really cool, being able to have very, very big battles while also being able to fund the battles as well. That's very, very important. Hello reformers and welcome to a special feature of Valor in Combat. This is another mod that I found on the Steam Workshop and it has a lot to do with large scale battles, yes. So if you are someone that's been looking for very very big battles and epic battles and all that sort of thing then look no further because this is exactly what you want to be doing. Anyway, I'm gonna just go with the standard highest renowned value uh, start that you can in terms of the character creation and we are just going to continue onward from there. Now hopefully this is going to work out just as I intend because apparently the leadership in this mod will give you a very very large army indeed. Everything else has been increased and turned up to 11 as well so in other words tournament frequency has been increased. The amount of food that you're able to feed your armies with has been increased. The amount of rewards that you get from battles has been increased. The amount of money that you give to better soldiers has been increased. So everything has just been turned up and you're going to be having massive battles. So that's exactly what we're going to do and uh, yes, let's have a look here. I'm going to just improve my my leadership actually just a little bit in my charisma and everything and we'll just go for a little bit in iron flesh and pathfinding and that should be fine. So let's uh, let's uh, start there and we're just going to randomize a little bit. We're not really going to take too long over that and there we go. That seems uh, that's not a very good hairstyle, but we'll go for it. Why not? Yes. All right, so shall we shall we go with the Nords? Let's go with the Nords. Sounds like a fun idea. It's been a while since I started a Nord character, hasn't it? I don't know, but yeah, it's been a, I think it's been a while. All right, let's get ready to headshot this fellow. There we go. Very nice. Take that. You have a you're a unicorn bandit. Yes, he's a unicorn now. All right, so there we go. Hopefully that will that will be it for yeah well obviously we do have to collect five men but you know it's, it's all it's all good it's all good all right so yes welcome to uh, <laughs> uh, yes welcome to a mod that allows you to have 413 units in your army from the very start if you have my leadership which is four as you can see here though the display of the leadership does not actually change it. It's it still says that you gain five troops, but you actually gain much more. So you know, bear in mind. Obviously, I, I would assume the mod is still in development. I'm not entirely sure about that, but anyway, we're gonna go around and recruit a whole bunch of people and see what we can do. Oh yeah, do bear in mind that the ah uh, hello. Yeah, do bear in mind that the bandits have been increased in terms of their party sizes. Because obviously, you know, when you have uh, an army of 200 to 300 or even 400, you're not really going to want, you know, I don't know, 10 people in a bandit army. You're going to want, I don't know, 150 or something along those lines. Obviously, I don't exactly know whether that is indeed the case just yet. But as you can see, we were able to recruit 14 Nord recruits immediately. And that is a fantastic, fantastic thing. So we are going to go in here. They don't have the bring a friend system by the looks of things included in the mod, which is actually kind of good, but also a bit, uh, I don't know, maybe a little disappointing because obviously when you are, you know, ha having a massive army and you run into a bandit party of 50 and there's another one close by of 30, then it would be kind of cool for them to bring a friend. But obviously that might get a little bit out of hand. So it might be due to balancing issues that the mod creators have not thought about implementing that. Or maybe they did think about it and uh, yeah, it was just too much of a balance problem. So obviously there's always a reason why things will not be included for balancing and so on and so forth. So it's kind of good that uh, maybe that's not included because if you have, for example, you know, a party of 250 bandits next to another party of 250 bandits. You certainly don't want to have a huge 500 enemy right against you if you only have about 50. So, yeah, who knows? Who knows? Anyway, we're going to try our very best to level up our forces here. And we're going to do, once again, what I always do with these special features. The new player experience. That's It's kind of important, in my opinion, because 
whenever you're downloading a mod for the first time and uh, you're, you're, you know, you're just booting it up and you're starting it and you, you kind of think to yourself, oh, okay, well, this experience is kind of a little bit, you know, a little bit slow or a little bit disappointing or something along those lines. That this kind of feature will eliminate all of that because you can basically just check out first 5, 10, 15 minutes of a video and then you can see exactly whether you want to download it or not. And that's exactly the purpose of the special feature. Obviously, you know, this guy elongating this battle is kind of annoying, but yeah, we're going to get a lot of those because obviously the Nords, they're not very good at chasing down enemy units that are attempting to run away. So yeah, that's going to be a bit of an annoyance, but that's just what we've signed up for, isn't it? Anyway, let's uh, let's get a couple of a couple of pieces of loot. Obviously, this loot is not exactly great, so that's not uh, it's not too fantastic. But yes, anyway, we can now level these guys up. So we're just going to level them up into footmen, and you can also see here that the money reward three hundred and eighty three. Yeah, you can already see what's going to be happening here. That is due to the gold increase from battles being increased by five hundred percent according to the mod creators. So that is really kind of awesome. You know what I'd also like to see? If uh, if the mod creator actually checks out this video at some point, I'd like to see the experience gain increased as well for your units. Because that, that I mean, obviously maybe not by 500% because that might be a little bit much, but maybe increasing it just by a small amount to kind of speed up the bandit fighting process I guess you could say because no I, I don't get me wrong I absolutely love the early game and the mid game of warband it's when it starts to turn into siege warfare 101 that it gets a little bit grindy and so on and so forth but that, that's the case with many games where you know when you get to sort of the later points you might start to get that kind of experience but anyway point is feel like the experience gain might also lend itself to being increased just a little bit, but obviously you can change that however you wish yourself, you know, because obviously Warband is a very moddable experience, a very customizable experience. So generally, if you're not happy with a particular experience gain in any mod, then of course you can change that yourself, which, you know, may, may be an idea, but you can see here we're getting pretty suitable levels, and I mean, I think the gold is obviously going to be the main reason why we may have some issues. Ah, we got some sea raiders right here. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna attack these sea raiders and see what we can do. It's gonna be kind of difficult for us. I'm gonna get some prisoner management now as well because obviously prisoner management is gonna be kind of important as we go forward. And uh, let's get some archery actually. Maybe we'll use a bow a little bit later on. Who knows? Anyway. Let's go into here and try and kill these sea raiders. I'd actually like to do a tournament as well and just see how uh, how awesome that is because apparently that has been increased as well, the tournament frequency and maybe the rewards as well. Not entirely sure about that, but we'll see as we go on. And maybe I'll be able to eliminate a couple of these. Bear in mind that these sea raiders are going to be very, very effective at what they do in comparison to our units. So I'm going to be... <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I'm going to have to be very, very effective at what I'm doing here. And that's not really working out too well. There's 38 damage. That's not too bad. My sword is not exactly great at what it does. Let's tell our forces to charge in. Are you actually charging in, guys? Are you actually charging? I don't know whether they were charging or whether they were holding position, but hopefully they're now charging in and teaching these sea raiders who's boss. But I'm very, very interested to see how much money we're going to gain from this fight if we're actually able to achieve a victory here. It seems like we will be able to achieve a victory, but we are losing a whole bunch of Nord recruits. But that's the point. When you have a mod like this where everything is increased, your recruiting and your army size and everything, losing 5, 10, maybe even 50 units dependent on what kind of scale your army has at the time is not really a big deal. So I shouldn't worry about that too much, even though generally when you're first starting out in, a, in, in this kind of, you know, in this kind of playthrough, uh, you know, in, in, in Warband in general, you really do not want to have losses that early on. You know, those kinds of losses are really, really harsh. So it's, uh, it's, it's you know, it's kind of nice to have that little bit of extra freedom, I suppose you could say. Good amount of experience from that. Look at that. A thousand 
1,162 dinars. That's really nice. Let's continue to get footmen here. And maybe I can... Can I recruit people from, from castles, actually? I don't think so, no. All right. So let's try and find... I uh, Oh, there's a tournament. There's a tournament already. Okay, let's do a tournament. Wow, okay. So here's the thing. I don't have that much money, unfortunately, so I'm only going to be able to earn a certain amount of cash from these tournaments, but we're hopefully going to do okay here. Bear in mind that I am very low level, and I don't have that... I do have a decent amount in Power Strike, don't I? I think I have a decent amount in Power Strike. Wow, the middle team got absolutely massacred here. I mean, it is to be expected that they are going to get massacred, considering they have two teams to fight instead of just one. And it's nice to see that we actually have a pretty cool amount of action going on here. There we go. All right, so we can place a bet, but that's it. That's that's it. I don't have any more money, so this is obviously going to be kind of harsh, but oh well, never mind. It's actually really nice, though, because being able to have... I, I don't know, being able to have a tournament this early on, being able to actually complete it yourself and actually be effective in it, that's really awesome because I know that some other mods, they do tend to give you that tournament very early, but it then requires, I don't know, different gear or something along those lines, maybe, maybe a little bit higher skill levels as well, but it seems like here I'm able to pretty easily win. I don't know whether that's... I think that's a I think that's a good thing personally, especially considering the mod is focusing on large scale battles. And you know, if you're focusing on that, you certainly need to have some kind of ease of gaining renown and gaining you know gaining money as well. And obviously we're going to be purchasing an enterprise if we can. And uh, I would assume that once I have completed this, <laughs> let me bet those ten dinars. Yes, that's really going to make a huge difference, isn't it? Uh, yes, I, I really should have gone in with a little bit of extra cash, but from this we're going to be able to buy at least at least one Weavery and Dye Works, and that's going to be pretty good. And then maybe we'll be able to recruit a whole bunch more units, and maybe even fight a vassal this early on. Who knows? Who knows? Because obviously if we have, I don't know, 100, 150 units, we might even outnumber some of the, shall we say, smaller vassals. And obviously they're going to have pretty low level forces at this time so it might be making a good 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 amount of sense i guess anyway 30 renown right there and we gained uh, about 20000 dinars which is very nice indeed to see that and uh, there is no shortcut to go and speak to the guild master which is a bit of a shame but it's all right cuz finding the guild master is easy enough usually you can just go in here and find them almost immediately. Is that... Uh, yeah, I'm very bad at finding the Guildmaster. There we go, there we go. This is the fellow. Hello. I want to buy land. Yes, I would like to buy Weaver and Dye Works. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, so that was easy enough, wasn't it? Yeah, very easy indeed. All right, so otherwise, we can now spend a little bit of extra... Uh, a little bit of extra cash, actually. Either recruiting things, or we can just sell... And we can... No, I don't want to sell my fish, thank you very much. Yeah, so bear in mind that the food consumption rate has also been changed. So that if you have an army of 400, they are not going to really have too much to worry about in regards to being starved all the time. Because obviously in regular Warband Native, you're going to... You know, you're going to have problems. If you have a big army, you're going to eat through that in a number of days. But not in this mod. Not in this mod. You're going to be pretty happy for quite a few quite a few weeks, I'd say. But, well, we'll see. It really depends. All right. We're going to continue recruiting here. And uh, I'm going to go around the villages and we'll see just how many we're able to get. I now have an army size of 449. Alright, so I've been doing a little bit of progression off screen, not too much, but obviously I've just tried to increase the speed at which we were able to get an army that was potentially capable of tackling a vassal. Now bear in mind that if you go into the taverns in this mod, you're going to be able to recruit at least 15, 20, maybe even more mercenary units. I was able to acquire a couple of mercenary swordsmen, uh, I think you actually saw that, yeah, I think you saw that. We gained about 21 of them for like 3,500. 
very, very nice, in my opinion, for being able to sort of supplement your army a little bit while you have some recruits in your army. Being able to basically take on higher level parties without having to level up the entirety of a troop tree. So you're basically able to just, you know, give yourself a little bit of a power boost early on. Anyway, as you can see right here, we're going to be attacking Count Rafage right here. And uh, you can see that we actually have 84, but bear in mind, most of those are kind of low-level troops. I do have a couple of Nord veterans, only three of them, I think. And uh, I do have a couple of Nord warriors, but most of our people are mercenaries, hilariously enough. And I think that that's also a big strength of the mod, being able to give you mercenaries at any time. I've basically gone in to a tavern and instead of giving you, I don't know, three to maybe seven, eight mercenaries, and that's kind of, that's kind of lucky on the eight side there. But being able to give you a whole bunch of units, and I'm talking about, you know, 20 or so here, every single time I've gone in to, you know, find some, some mercenaries right there, I think that's pretty amazing because now I'm able to actually attack a vassal. Like, literally attack a vassal here. And I think we should... I think we should be able to win this. And I'm actually kind of curious to see how much we're actually going to make from this fight. Because bear in mind that my wages have now basically skyrocketed quite a bit here. Because, of course, we are now fielding a very, very large army. And generally, I wouldn't recommend going into a battle with a vassal this early on. So if you're going to download this mod, I'd highly recommend checking out a couple of the tournaments first. And then from there, investing in a whole bunch of die works and various other, you know, enterprises and everything to set yourself up for some extremely good monetary value gain. Now, if you're not going to get that, then just constantly fighting is probably going to give you a good amount of reward. And that's exactly what the mod is all about. It's about large-scale battles. I mean, I don't even know how many we had on the battlefield here because I wasn't wasn't really checking, but we had basically all of our army. We had all of our army and all of the enemy's army. And, uh, oh yes, it is recommended, by the way, on the mod page to increase your battle size. And uh, I, I have I do have a guide on that on my channel, by the way. So if you, if you, you know, type in on my channel how to increase battle size, then you're going to... You're going to find that very quickly, and otherwise it will probably be linked down below anyway, so if you want to check that video out, you can. Otherwise, it does detail how to do it on the mod page. Anyway, as you can see right here, we did lose quite a few units. Do bear in mind, I don't have surgery at the moment, so it is going to result in many more casualties. But we are able to take him prisoner now if we so desire. I don't exactly know whether we should do that. I guess we will, because he already hates us kind of badly, so why not? Let's do it. And uh, yeah, that's also something else that I'd like to see too. I'd like to see prisoner management actually give you more prisoner size, you know, more prisoner capacity because leadership already does that, already gives you a huge amount of capacity. I'd like to see prisoners actually do the same as well. So if, if the mod creators are, you know, watching or, you know, still working on the mod, then that would be a really, really awesome change. And I think it might be kind of simple to implement. I don't know. I'm not a, not a modder, so I, I don't really know. Anyway. We're going to take everything that I can get my hands on right here. And there you go. Look at that. 1,600 dinars just from that fight. And that was a pretty small vassal in comparison to what you would normally think. Anyway, I'm going to level these guys up into mercenary horsemen. We don't have a cavalry option otherwise. So it would make sense for us to do that. And we've just gained a couple more units right there. So our weekly cost is now 1,600, which is actually kind of a lot. So that's not particularly good. Otherwise, I'm just going to increase my leadership even further to hopefully negate some of the wages. Because, of course, we are now going to have, you know, some problems with our wages, I feel. Anyway, let's uh, let's see what we can do here. Maybe I can find another tournament or something. But that's basically the mod uh, in, a, in a nutshell. I, uh, I think that there are... Oh, there we go. They've already offered me a ransom. That is pretty awesome. Yeah, obviously, there's another tournament right here which I will be able to do, and uh, I mean, that's the thing. This mod, if you want to play basic, I mean, it has battle continuation as well, by the way, so if you do die in a very, very big battle, then you're going to be able to watch the action unfold, and you're going to, you know, obviously see just who is going to survive at the very end 
And uh, it's going to be, I, I think that's pretty awesome actually. You know what we're going to do? We're going to just do a little bit of artificial progression here. And we're going to go into a very, very large battle and just see how grand it actually is. Alright, so the rumors of King Harlaus being rather lazy are, well, I don't think they're rumors, they're, they're kind of true, aren't they? Anyway, point is, I was waiting for him to come out of Praven this entire time. Now bear in mind that I did run around quite a bit at the various villages and the taverns and so on and recruited as many as I could get my hands on. And I've been waiting outside Praven for about an in-game week, I think, maybe about that. And he's taken his sweet time to come out. Now, I do have 400 units now. And I do have a couple of points in trainer. I think I have about five for the most part. And then I think I, I leveled up recently and I now have seven. So technically, you should be able to level up your forces just with trainer because I haven't actually artificially increased any of my units. They, they, they've they literally just been uh, leveled up from trainer, from my trainer, and I think I, I did get a couple of companions, so I'm not entirely sure if they have any trainer either. But you can see here, I have exactly 400, which is kind of amusing. I didn't actually do that on purpose. It was just a coincidence. And he has 344. Now bear in mind that dependent on what kind of PC you have, you can modify the battle size accordingly. I currently have a battle size in the config file at 1.5000. So that's what I have right now. And that should give you 330 maximum battle size. Now that's basically what my PC, in my opinion, can handle at a decent enough frame rate. Uh, if, you, if you go for a little bit more than that on something like my PC, then you're going to you're going to get a lot of, well, problematic performance issues. And uh, generally, uh, Warband's engine is not really meant to handle anything very large. And uh, you can already see, I don't know whether you can see that, but I'm getting a little bit of stuttering here. And that's, that's, that's kind of annoying. You know, that's kind of annoying. So maybe I need to reduce the battle size a little bit more. But... As it stands, we're going to see a very... I mean, look at that. We've got 209... It's, it's actually larger. Never mind. It's actually larger than 330. Never mind. Okay, so it seems like... <laughs> it seems like it's a little bit different with this mod. Maybe uh, maybe it's been increased a little bit from that. Who knows? But yeah, you can see already that... Uh, yeah, you can see that in general my PC is just not meant to have a battle size like this, so I'd recommend probably just running with the default of 150 with this mod, and uh, maybe it's got some kind of hidden battle size increase anyway, because this is definitely not 330, as you can see. It's, uh, well, obviously a lot more than that, but you can see exactly what you're going to get with this mod. You're going to get something insane, and you can just imagine how it would be if uh, yeah if we weren't having this frame rate stutter obviously that's not due to the mod that's just that's just my pc not being able to handle the not being able to handle the actual battles which is a real shame but that's just how it is that's just how it is obviously if i were to reduce the battle size but still have it at a reasonable amount like i i think having 150 to 200 units her side would probably be absolutely fine for my PC. I mean, I can actually run it at a decent enough frame rate, but the stuttering is kind of annoying. So that's basically the only thing that is really hindering us right now. But this is exactly what I mean, though. Just look at the absolutely enormity. The enormity and scale of this battle is just insane. And you can imagine if I wasn't to artificially progress for the, for the sake of this special feature then you can see exactly what you're going to get later on in the game. And especially considering this is King Harlaus at his earliest, basically. So he doesn't have that many Swedian knights. He doesn't have basically very many strong units at all. And that's why we were able to quite easily overwhelm him. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, we do technically outnumber him as well. So that obviously has a bit of an effect. But there you go. We eliminated 293. So if you're looking for large-scale battles, this is certainly a mod to check out. There is a link in the description. It's easy enough to uh, just, you know, click subscribe on that Steam Workshop page. And uh, it's a very small download as well. 
It's about 79 MB as far as I'm aware. So yeah, it's pretty good. And uh, yeah, so if you're looking for that warband experience with... It does have the battle continuation, bear that in mind. So you, if you die, you're not going to have any difficulties with, you know, like native would be where you're gonna, uh, you know, have the battle end and everything. And uh, it just has a whole bunch of extra improvements as well. Now, the only thing that I'd say w could be improved about this is maybe an additional troop tree. Maybe uh, maybe some, some new troop trees or something like that. But obviously the beauty of it, I guess, is the fact that you're able to use the standard warband units and, uh, you know, use them in battle. And th and that's, that's actually really cool. Being able to have very, very big battles while also being able to fund the battles as well. That's very, very important as well as being able to feed them too, because bear in mind, you know that food that I bought earlier on in the episode? I still have that food. I haven't actually replenished my food at all, and I've been sitting outside Praven for a, a good amount of time, and I still have not bought additional food. So you can imagine just how great that is, because having an entire inventory full of food, that's not fun. You know, that's not fun at all. You know, if you want to pick up some additional loot and everything to sell it, then, well, you can, you know. You don't have to worry about having an inventory full of food, that's for sure. You can just have, I don't know, five, six lots of food. And uh, I think it is one unit of food in the game will feed 100 units, as far as I'm aware. So that's that's pretty awesome, because me having 400, that means every, every single day they're going to eat four units of food. And that's fantastic, because that enables you to basically field an army of, of infinite amounts. I mean, you can have, you know, a thousand units, and they're only going to eat ten units of food per day, which is really, really cool. But if having this amount of units on the battlefield is, you know, is a thing that you are looking for, and, you know, maybe you didn't want to increase your battle size and, and you know, for fear of the, the food being a problem and morale being a problem and so on and so forth, then look no further, because this mod has you covered. Anyway, that will be it for the special feature. I thank you very much for watching, and we're going to be taking this guy prisoner, and I will see you next time.